Hey there tech enthusiasts, I'm Chad Mobile. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be walking you through day 36 in the life of the Google Pixel 7a. I've been testing this device extensively and now it's time to share with you my thoughts. So let's jump right into it. I know I had this phone for a while now, but first impression, the phone itself is a sleek design. It has a slim profile, thick bezels though. You would notice it coming from the Galaxy S23, but after a while my eyes does adjust so it doesn't really bother me there. And I didn't, initially know that the back was made of plastic because it looks and feels identical to the Google Pixel 7 which is made of glass in the front and back. So good job Google for making this phone feel premium for the mid-range price of $500. Unlike the Galaxy A54, when you hold in your hand, you can tell it is significantly lighter and cheaper than the Galaxy S23. Even though it looks like an S23, it doesn't quite feel like the S23. So Google does a good job in there in terms of making this device feel premium. And the Pixel 7 feels great in the hand. It is a 6.1 inch display. It is pretty light. Just in general, solid design. My only complaints is the back is still a fingerprint magnet. I wish they used it a matted material instead of this glassy plastic looking thing. In addition to that, the camera bar is a, is a dust magnet as well. I don't really look at the camera bar on a day-to-day -day basis, but if I'm recording videos and staring at it, I can't help but always notice the dust in there. You can probably use a Q-tip and wipe it off or something, but ain't nobody got time for that. And if you don't want to deal with all the dust issue, I would recommend getting a lighter color, maybe the coral or the snow. I mean, it's not going to prevent the dust, but you wouldn't see it as much since it is but you wouldn't see it as much compared to the charcoal color. At first I thought the camera bar is pretty obnoxious when the Google Pixel 6 first came out, but now Google embraced the design. It looks fine. My eyes adjusted to it as well, so no complaints here. When you look at it, you know it's a Google phone. Every phone got the little identity, and the Cyclops bar is Google's identity now, apparently. It does have 90 hertz refresh rate. Scrolling around is pretty smooth. Another hot take for you guys. To this day, I don't really notice the difference between 60 hertz and 90 hertz. I mean, you really stare at it, you can see it, but for me personally, it doesn't really bother me that much on a day-to-day -day basis. So 90 hertz refresh rate is cool, 120 hertz refresh rate is fine as well. For me personally, I can jump back and forth between the three options all day and doesn't really bother me at all. And it is not life-changing by any means. And even the iPhone 14 that costs $800 and the 14 Plus that costs $900, those phone comes with 60 hertz refresh rate. And no one really bat an eye. People still buy the latest iPhone. You gotta get the Pro model in order to take advantage of the 120 hertz refresh rate. So Pixel 7a, 90 hertz refresh rate. It is nice for those people who care about those little tiny feature upgrade compared to the Pixel 60a, which did not have 90 hertz. Camera is pretty good on a normal day. I don't go around sniffing flowers, taking pictures of random stuff. But if I wanted to, I can. Is able to do cool things like this and that. So it all depends how you frame your shot, what you do with it, how you take the pictures or videos. But just in general, it is a pretty capable camera. Pixel, Samsung, iPhone, you're getting the best of the best in the smartphone world, so you can't go wrong with the Pixel 7a. It's only a dual camera though, so you do miss some of the quote-unquote pro features like the macro mode. You only get that in the pro model and with Samsung, the crazy 100x zoom that you may use once in your life. So you feel like those additional features are worth the 1200 bucks or 900 bucks, then feel free to get those. If not, I don't find myself using any of those that often. I'd rather spend 500 bucks when I want to. I'll take out my camera and use it, but it is not something that I use heavily on a day-to-day -day basis. Night photos work fine as well. I don't find myself going out at night taking pictures of the moon or the stars or anything like that. When it's dark, I go inside because that's when all the bugs come out. But it does take pretty decent photos under poor lighting as well. I feel like every flagship phone has portrait mode these days. Well, I guess this one's not really considered flagship. It is more mid-range, but it is about 80 to 90% of what the flagship phone has to offer. But I don't find myself taking portrait photo that often. I like to take pictures of trees, leaves, rocks, water, not necessary people. So I don't find myself using a front portrait that much. In addition to that, I don't use the selfie camera that much either. I don't really like to take selfies. I know I record videos of me talking to a camera, but I don't go around snapping myself next to a sign or random things that often. And one thing I recently found out that the Google Tensor G2 chip 
on the Pixel 7a is actually a modified version, so it is not the same exact thing that you would see in the regular Google Pixel 7. So here's an article that I came across. I don't know what all these mumbo jumbo mean, but my main takeaway is that the Pixel 7a does run a little bit hotter, which on the surface, it doesn't sound like much, but I feel like it does impact its performance a lot on a day-to-day -day basis. It takes longer to charge the battery drain quicker. So a little bit of heat does add up over time. Even the regular Tensor chip already run hot as is. So just to make it even run even hotter is definitely something I do want to point out, which could explain why I have all these weird performance issue, the slow charging and all my complaints with this phone. And as of June 21st, I finally got my June update. Usually the update I should be around the 5th, but it's still within the month of June, so I'll take it. It wasn't too long ago when phone manufacturers wasn't really updating their phones at all on a monthly basis. You'd be lucky you get it once a quarter or once a year. But now we're getting it once a month, even if it's late, I think it's fine, not the end of the world. So tomorrow I'm going to do a little bit of a deeper dive into all the functions and capabilities of the new feature drop updates. It was a pretty big update, 600 megabyte file. I felt like it took the whole day for me to download and install the update. So I'll keep you guys posted there. All right, so day 36, battery still poor, eight to nine hours of battery life. Wireless charging is still slow, regular charging is still slow. Although I do have a new conspiracy theory with the connection issues I was having over the last few days. I feel like the Google VPN may be the cause of that because today I did not experience any drop connections. So who knows, maybe I will leave VPN off over the next few weeks, see if anything changes. I'll try hotspotting more, I'll just try using my phone as I normally do and see if there's any connection issue. So that is my current theory. In the first few weeks I did not turn on VPN, I recently decided to do that. Who knows? And I remember reading an article, kind of just skimming through it, how people did not like the VPN. I didn't really click into it, I just saw the headlines, but that is my own personal conspiracy theories but i'll keep you guys posted on how this phone gonna do in the long run all right guys this wraps up day 36 in the life of the google pixel 7a overall still pretty solid phone for the price fast performance great photos poor batteries low charging occasional connection hiccups but for the 500 price point i think it is fine but if you enjoyed the video please remember to like and subscribe please leave a comment below and let me know what your experience has been with the google pixel 7a if you're interested in seeing my 5 weeks review, please check out this video.